Tell me, what did you see, madam? Anybody is talking to me? Nobody is talking. Shall yes. I stop sharing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Uh, you could see the video? Yes, sir. I could see the video. It is about a student. Okay. Okay. Um, he'll be watching the ants carrying the flowers. Okay. And then... Um, he goes to the school where he falls asleep and in the middle I missed somewhere sir. <laughs> because uh, why some audio problem video problem you got or somebody came and uh, spoke to you about uh, your college matters multitasking sir. <laughs> yes sir. Ah, this is the issue because uh, that is what I requested you to give me the phone number of your owner, director, principal, HOD. I will talk to them. Right? <laughs> I know everybody. Don't worry. So now tell me, what did we learn? Anybody else can tell me who saw uh, the complete video. If you can tell me, what did we see? Why did we see? What did we learn from that? What did we understand from that? What is the relevance of seeing this video? Anybody can tell me. Nobody is telling me. One of you can tell me, no? It is something like how we can engage the students in the classroom, sir. We can show the students some of the videos so that the students are fond of watching the videos. So they get uh, attracted and we can get the attention of the students by playing certain videos. and. Very, we can ask certain questions also. I appreciate that. your uh, uh, whatever and That your is why is. I think you have showed us the video. But there is some uh, message in this video. 
if you have seen the complete video only, you will understand. If you have seen only partly in between you have missed, then it is a problem. Anybody can tell me who has seen it fully? Somebody can tell me, can you please uh, switch on the audio at least, if not video. Don't show your face, no problem. I will switch off my video also because bandwidth issue coming. Yeah, so tell me, who is telling me? Renuka Devi is there, right? Some other Devi is also there, if I am right. Nobody is talking to me, what can I do, tell me? Who is going to, who is going to talk to me now? Hello? I think it is only Lata Madam and myself we have to discuss for the rest of the time. Am I right, Lata Madam? So, it's okay, sir. So, the, no, but, uh, uh, I mean, uh, that, uh, I'm still in the middle, doctor? sir, but again, I watched it. So, may I speak? Yeah, yeah. Yes, someone is coming. Sir. One second. Pushpa Lata Madam, some other madam said, can I speak? So, it's Devi yes, from DPS Gaya Bihar. Uh, now, <laughs> who is talking to me? I don't know. Acha. It is DPS, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, you also joined late now? No, no, sir. I, I was watching the video. I have seen the complete video. Uh, now tell me. But don't take one hour to tell me what you saw. Just a very answer to point. What did you see in the video? Sir, I think studying is not necessary. <laughs> huh? Studying is not the main focus of the students. Students should be like, they, we should not force them to learn the things. They should acquire learning by themselves. They can uh, develop their imagination and curiosity to learn new things. Okay. Why did I show this video to you? So because we are doing the same thing in the classroom. We are forcing students to learn in the way we, what we are teaching. We are okay. not taking their mindset, how they, they want to learn. So, so what, did we, what did we learn by watching this video? So every student is different. Every student is unique. They have their own characteristic. They have their own learning capabilities. So we should, uh, uh, we should differentiate in the class and uh, we should take the teaching as facilitation. So. I feel okay. like that. Now, madam, I'm going to ask you some more questions about the video because you told me you saw the full video, right? Yes. And now the student got up in order to ask some doubt. Am I right? Yes, sir. And then the teacher told him, sit down, don't talk, don't ask, listen. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then... Uh, he, he removed, he, symbolically, he removed his head and put a lot of questions on the table, right? Yes, sir. He removed then, everything. He quit the things ah, that I would The teacher know. came he and quit. threw all the question marks onto the pro, uh, ground, right? Yes, sir. And, and he, now, he just forget about everything, what the curiosity was going on in his mind. Ah, he, ah. he quit everything and he took everything on the decks and then... Uh, he started and, uh, imagining. Was he, was he allowed to ask a question? Uh, no, sir. The teacher no, was keeping no. uh, and, uh, big finger on his mouth and to, saying he that. Was trying to, he was trying to interact with the neighbor, right? Yes, sir. And then but, he, they, oh, uh, they mm -hmm. did operation to their mouth. They sealed mm -hmm. the mouth. Yes, sir. With a big and, uh, finger. Um, and then they have put, uh, they have put that... Uh, Partition plastic boards, wooden boards between the students. Yes, sir. so that they cannot interact with each other and they will just follow what like uh, there was some music in the in between the video where mm. uh, the students were saying na 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 like the whatever teacher is saying that's the root learning method that uh, most of us are following. Uh, this so is the irony of uh, today's teaching. Whereas actually they are able to learn about, uh, you are a science uh, teacher, so you know what is photosynthesis for yes, photosynthesis. Sir, yes, sir. I have, uh, I have observed, water is I have it? observed in the last, uh, at the end of the video, when he was observing some uh, street kids, they were playing and they were learning. So they, uh, they were just watching a plant which was, which was growing and uh, uh, then somebody offered them the seed and he was trying to uh, uh, put those seeds under the ground so that they can 
So again, uh, something it implies that we should give ample time to so that they can learn by doing the things. So everything you are able to remember what you saw in the video, right? Yes, sir. Everything. Now tell me, I asked one teacher, I asked one teacher, can you summarize this four minutes video in one sentence? Okay. Then he said, sorry, sir, I will summarize in one word only. That is what exactly is happening in many classrooms. So root learning. Do you agree with that teacher who said the one uh, in one line, the summary of this four minute video is that is exactly what is happening. That is our current education system. Are you so getting I my think the one uh, so one word uh, like if you will ask the same question to me, my answer will be root learning. Yes. So that is not going to be useful to the student. Will it be useful to the student? No, sir. No. Never, never. We are covering the syllabus. Yes, sir. So that is what uh, is the purpose of myself showing the video. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. I remember in our last class you were discussing that we should never uh, cover the syllabus. We should uh, uncover the syllabus so that students can discover it. Yes. So, now tell me. This uh, environment which you saw in the video, was it a suitable environment for learning? No, sir. That is why it is called instructional paradigm. Only instructions were given by the teacher. Don't ask questions. Don't talk to the neighbor. Just listen to what I am saying and just write whatever I am writing. So only instructions are given there. That's why this paradigm is called what paradigm in the video? The instructional paradigm. Instructional paradigm. What is required for the teacher and students? So it should learning. be more involved. Like students should be learning. environment uh, should be involved. Learning should be involved in the, the environment. That paradigm is called learning paradigm. Okay. So now you understand the two paradigms which we have a choice. And one is called instruction paradigm. The other one is called learning paradigm. Learning paradigm. So, which yes. paradigm we should have in our classroom? Learning paradigms. And who should take the responsibility, accountability, jimmedari, jawabdari of converting your class into learning paradigm? So, educators like us. You, you, you. Your principal cannot come and sit in your class. Your HOD cannot come and sit in your class. For that 45 yes. minutes, you are the boss. So, it is up to you yes. to decide whether do you want a learning paradigm or instructional paradigm. Right now, most of the classes are which paradigm? So, instructional paradigm. And we should convert from instructional paradigm to which paradigm? So, learning paradigm. And that is what I am requesting you. I hope you understood why I have shown you the cartoon video. Yes, sir. it was wonderful. Me, sir. Me, sir. Uh, tell me, madam. Uh, I have a doubt, sir, actually. Uh, I just want to know uh, what type of techniques you people follow. Uh, to handle with this instruction, I mean, uh, go with this instructional paradigm, all these things. Uh, now at present, you know, sir, okay. in the present scenario, when this uh, NAC, NB, all this has uh, popped up, uh, we are completely engaged with the documentaries. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Madam, filing up the documents rather than uh, putting more efforts on the different methods to use in the classroom. Correct. So, uh, and where is time for us, sir? I appreciate. I appreciate your answer because I have done faculty development trainings in 24 states for the last 16 years. Okay. Every state, every teacher tells me the same thing as Lata Madam is telling now. <laughs> and uh, the answer for that question is: We are also educating the leaders of the colleges you know the meaning of leaders owners yes principals heads of the departments and the program which we conduct to them is called academic leadership program are you getting my point lata madam yes sir yes sir and we are also telling them you are bringing a phd teacher and asking him to type uh, all documents yes sir so yeah. that they are slowly realizing, they are slowly realizing and uh, many managements have changed now. 
they are only telling faculty to give the information the typing and the documentation will be done by some common uh, uh, a, a person uh, for the whole department so that you don't have to type anymore you don't have to do permitting and uh, uh, font size and font style font color all that you don't have to worry slowly people are getting educated and you know how many colleges are getting closed every day madam in india yes sir uh, that is because uh, teacher is not doing the teaching learning he is doing only typist work yeah uh, so that is why we Too are much of documentation time. if we take attendance we need to post the attendance the thrice of uh, in four places and when yeah. we take about the marks yeah. we have to post it in four, four places and then for each and everything documentation is needed and there is no time for us to use new methods and think about the new methods also correct so now what i am trying to tell you is we are also leaders and leaders are the owner of the colleges are realizing that if uh, they don't do the right things the college will collapse already many colleges have been closed across india yes sir they are also realizing if they don't do what is required they will close so we are also conducting academic leadership program what program academic leadership 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 program, program. okay sir okay sir so your voice academic. is breaking sir oh, that's why academic leadership program can you repeat tata madam is not sir repeating. academic leadership program academic leadership writing Sorry. Ah, leadership program. Program. Is that right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you another video, and just watch what does that mean. Okay, then we will see what all that uh, means to us. Is that right? Okay, sir. But Fine, you have to. You you cannot do multitasking when you are watching a video now. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure, sir. Right, Dr. Mohan Babu. <laughs> you, you, no, sir. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Hello. 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 So we can't hear you, sir. Are you able to see the video? No, sir, not it. Ah, uh, then I am going to show you share. I am going to show you share. And once I say open share key, include system audio, and then screen one. Now are you able to see anything on the board? Only S K. Huh? S K is visible, no, sir. No, no. Actually, going to enact a role play today. Are you able to see now? No, sir. No, I think, madam, you are having some other problem. Others, can you please tell me? Are you able to see my desktop? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you able to see my desktop? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Are you able to see one person uh, standing in the video? Yes. Ah, uh, is he wearing sir, a suit? Or is not he wearing visible, sir. Oh. People are not able to tell. Is he wearing a shirt or a suit? Shirt, sir. Yeah, shirt, shirt, shirt. It's not shirt also. It is called what? Kurta. Purta. We will not have a regular class. They have had some of it. Now we will shift to enacting a role play. Right? Uh, Guru Prasad? Yes. Are you ready with your team? Yeah, we are ready. Right? So friends, we will see a role play. Then we will see what all that means to us. Right? Tony? Yes. Yes, Tony. Uh, he will be uh, acting the role of an ATM machine. He will be the connector. This is validator. Again, a global connector. The banker. Again, a global connector. 
and me myself acting as an issuer and then the cash tree so we will have a demonstration of how an atm machine works with three scenarios uh, we have three customers for our bank so why not put our lecture itself as a first customer yeah. okay so that will be fun so we have our first customer as a sir and then the remaining two customers welcome to spmjc bank please insert the card please validate the card this is an invalid card sorry invalid sorry invalid sorry invalid thank you for using the service spmjc bank please insert the card please validate the card this is a valid card ask for the pin enter pin enter the four digit pin number validate the pin the pin is validated ask for the amount enter amount enter the amount please accept the amount please proceed with the transaction proceed transaction, with the transaction. in progress please wait Sufficient balance in account. Transaction rejected. Transaction rejected. Transaction rejected. Sorry. No sufficient balance. Thank you for using the services. Welcome to SPMJC Bank. Please insert the card. Please validate the card. This is a valid card. Ask for the pin. Enter pin. Enter the four-digit pin number. Please validate pin. The pin is validated. Ask for the amount. Enter amount. Enter the amount. Please accept the amount. Proceed with transaction. Proceed with the transaction. Transaction all process. Please wait. Sufficient balance in account. Continue with transaction. Please debit eight hundred rupees on their account. Please issue one five hundred and three hundred rupees notes. Issuing one five hundred and three hundred rupee notes. Please receive the cash. Do you want the receipt? Please receive the card. Thank you for using the services. Uh, so, did you people watch this kit? Yes. What did you get in that? I mean, what did you learn from this kit? Okay, uh, I'll explain in few steps. Here, we have taken four aspects into consideration. One is security, second, data management, then computer connectivity and network management. How exactly we uh, enacted these roles and the importance. So, let me explain first with the validation part. In the validation, this is the most crucial part for any transaction because this is something related to amount. If at all the card is not valid and the bank issues the amount, it's a loss to bank. So this security aspect has been taken care of here in this specific act which we had right now. The second, the connectivity. You saw two connections here. One, the local connection happening within the uh, ATM and then happening within the ATM and the bank branch. Correct? Did you guys observe? Which was the part which shows that the ATM was connecting to a global branch? The connector over there, the global connectivity, because the branch may be situated in some part and ATM is in some area. So the connectivity between these two, we have taken care over there, the global connection through satellites. Okay, so connectivity is one aspect here. And the local connectivity is through coaxial cables or any other medium. So connectivity, then data management. There are two uh, data aspects of data management. One, the data, which is the cash, which will be present in the ATM, because there will be several customers using the ATM and uh, different uh, amounts would be withdrawn from the ATM. So the ATM needs to track all these transactions which is happening and at the end display the amount left. And also the bank should detect the respective amount from the accounts of the specific person or the specific customer. So we have database management here, very Now I stop the video. I want to interact with all of you. I will be happy if somebody from engineering department can talk to me.
but nobody is willing to talk except these five, six people. I don't know why. Okay, now who is going to talk to me? Nobody is saying hello to me. I am not going to ask hello, any sir. questions, Babu. Yeah, tell me your good name. Pushpalata, sir. Ah, only Pushpalata, madam, is uh, talking because Mohan Babu has trained her. <laughs> Correct, no, madam? Yes. Now, see, a lot of people, uh, Dr. Nalani, Aravind Nalani, so they are saying, yes, sir, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Only these answers are coming in the chat box. Why are they not talking? I don't know. Nalini, can you speak to me? I know you are a PhD, you are a doctorate. Are you there, Dr. Nalini? No, she is not answering. Arvind, what about uh, Oh, this is very unfair. I think there is one Daba Devi also there on the screen. I see a lot of uh, people's names. Can I read out the names? Uh, are we not wasting time in reading uh, 73 names? Tulika Singh is also there. Suresh is there. Right? Kayal, Kayal Vili. Venkatesh Babu is there, Nani is there. I don't know what to do when they're not saying. Balu is there, Banamati is there, Shailesh Nath Pandey is there. Anybody wants to talk to me or no? My God, this is very unfair. Okay, now I will talk to the same people. Then uh, I know I can't pronounce her name properly. P R E. DPS. Yes, sir, I'm there. Ah, can you just tell me? I showed some video. Why did I show that video? Sir, uh, actually, this video shows the engagement of every uh, every student, first of all, and second, the uh, clarifying of the concept in very simplified Fantastic. manner. Fantastic. Now, uh, because others are not uh, uh, switching on the audio and speaking to me, I will uh, continue with the discussion uh, uh, with the PR team, madam. Pradeep. Pradeep. Is that okay? Yes, sir, I'm there. Are you able to, you are able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, now listen to me and keep saying hello, hello to me in between so that I know that you are hearing. Yes, sir. Okay, now I will tell you in short why I showed the video. The teacher is a computer science teacher. He has got to teach one subject for 45 hours as per the university syllabus. And yes, uh, the main topics of that semester is security, network management, data management, and connectivity. These are the four units of the syllabus. Am I right, Dr. Piari? Yes. And uh, conventionally, a teacher can go to the classroom and say, today we are going to talk about security. I will talk about security for 10 hours. I will talk about network management for 10 hours. I will talk about data management for 10 hours. I will talk about connectivity for 10 hours. Each uh, will be a 10 marks question in the internal exam. It will be a 5 marks question in the final university exam. Very important. So please do ratta and ulti. Please do memorizing and vomiting. Otherwise, you will fail. All your seniors have failed. Please be careful. All this I can tell. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, but that is not going to help them to learn by threatening them, by simply dictating notes or by simply giving Xerox copy of the notes or soft, uh, soft copy of the link or whatever it is. Do you agree? Yes, sir. So, the job of a teacher, as we discussed earlier, is to make the students to fall in love with the subject. What is the job of a teacher? To make them fall in love with the subject. Yes. Once they fall in love with the subject, they will tell you, sir, you don't know anything about love. You are a old man or you are a old person. We are young people. We know what is love. We will handle the love. Am I right? Yes, sir. But the problem is, 
we should know how to do that and uh, you know students are always asking why should i study this subject should i study because i have to write exam should i study because i have to pass the exam should i study with pleasure or should i study with pressure all that we discussed in the previous class right yes so now what this teacher did was he he decided to take some seven or eight students help because he cannot conduct a role play on his own so he they yes they, they uh, you know separately in the laboratory they re rehearsal they did for this role play and uh, all the dialogues were uh, scripted everything am i right yes and then the class came and then he told about atm machine atm machine is not there in the syllabus but uh, he demonstrated the importance of security there if you give cash to a invalid card then it is a loss to the bank am i right yes sir similarly yes, sir. if you if you give more money than what you have balance then again it is a loss to the bank so that means security is important yes sir so that software engineer will think tomorrow i am going to work as a software engineer for the next 40 years i should know how to write a software much better than what the software is existing today in the bank so therefore i should know more about security similarly i should know more about database management because you may have account in bihar but you come to bangalore for vacation and you may have account in state bank of india but when you come to bangalore you may draw the money from canara bank am i right yes yes so canara bank atm machine should uh, give you the money and in, inform the state bank of india in bihar saying that uh, so and so has withdrawn 1000 rupees in bangalore therefore the amount should be debited Yes, sir. Connectivity should be there. You have to maintain all these data details. That is called database management. Similarly, network management. Similarly, connectivity. So the students have really understood. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, that the teacher has justified the importance of the topics of this semester, this subject, uh, to the students. Justify the need for learning more about the subject. Are you understanding, Bihar, madam? Yes, yes, sir. How can we? In you very simplified have, manner, he has uh, yeah, explained yeah. about security, network management, database management, and connectivity. Now they will learn within one minute. <laughs> Now they will learn the subject with pleasure or pressure. So most probably they have enjoyed and they have learned this joyful learning. I can say. No, now they will. Uh, they have already fallen in love with the subject. Now they will pay attention. They will take interest. They will have, uh, uh, you know, hundred uh, percent attention to the subject because they have to learn more about security. They have to learn more about uh, network management, database management, connectivity in order to become a successful software engineer. Therefore, they will pay attention. They will make a note. They will ask questions. They will interact with the people. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir, definitely. So now. Still, uh, definitely, be a better innovative way of reducing the cognitive load on the student, or no? No, oh, buddy. Yes, sir. Okay. So now I can show you hundreds of uh, methodologies for hundreds of subjects, but uh, there is a limit for uh, how much time we can spend on all these. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. So. So, uh, as we have to cover the portion or the syllabus, uh, yes. we cannot uh, uh, come with this sort of things for every. Uh, no, that is where uh, that is a fantastic question, Pushpalata. You cannot do every day role play. Yes, sir. We even we do it. So in And, uh, our English classes, we do it, but only for a yes, few topics. Yes, we do it, yes, only for, for a few topics. Syllabus. Madam, 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 only for few topics you should do. But, yeah, so uh, we are doing it, sir. Ah, so we use. I I will give you forty, fifty, sixty different methodologies. You can choose any methodology and do whatever you like in whichever hour you like. But oh, our yes. aim is to Thank draw you. the attention of the students, and you know they should learn, they should enjoy learning process, and they should fall in love with the subject which we are teaching. They should under. Understand the need and the importance of the topics which we are discussing, and for that we are doing this in some classes. You can't do role play every day. Every day you cannot have the same breakfast. Every day you cannot have the same dinner. Every day you cannot have the same lunch. Every day you cannot wear the same color dress. Do you agree or no? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Agreed, sir. Therefore, therefore, we are not going to do role play every day. We will do role play maybe only once in month or uh, one uh, one role play in one month or uh, one role play in two months. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. That is True, how sir. we have to select. That is how we have to select. Am I right, madam? Now I will give opportunity for one more uh, uh, topic. Uh, anybody is there from chemistry? Basic science, madam from Bihar. Are you teaching chemistry, biology, or botany? So I am teaching general science, integrated science, sir. Till class eight. Some science you are teaching, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I will tell you. There is one topic in the syllabus of every university in the country and in the world that is called absorption and adsorption. Yes. Sir. Are you understanding, Bihari madam? Sorry yes, for sir. calling you as Bihari madam. Sir, it's uh, my name is Deo Piari. It's pronounced as Deo Piari. Ah, so nothing to worry. I am going to call you with a different name. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure, sir. Ah, now you tell me. What is the topic name in the syllabus of the university? Absorption and absorption and adsorption. Ah, so the teacher taught in a conventional method. Teacher taught in a conventional method. Are you understanding what mm -hmm. I am saying? Yes, sir. Conventional and method. And in the internal exam, the teacher are asked to write short notes on adsorption. A D S O R. Mm -hmm. Are you able to understand mm -hmm. the spelling? Yes, sir. Adsorption. Adsorption. And one yes. student is not a dull student, uh, somewhat mm -hmm. uh, uh, average student. He wrote in the answer book there is a spelling mistake in the question paper. Okay, sir. Because he is more familiar with the, which English word A B S O R P. Am I right? Yes, yes, sir. Only the uh, difference is, is B is replaced much, by uh, D. Familiar with the ah, uh, so he said. There is a spelling mistake, and uh, by mistake, A B was printed as A D. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yes, sir. And then he wrote one page uh, explanation about absorption, but the uh, teacher gave him zero marks. How much marks he gave? Zero, sir. Zero marks, sir. Hello. So am I audible? So you are not audible. Yeah, you are audible, but sir is not audible. Okay. Are you able? So you are able now. Yeah. Now tell me, that student. The student has yes, sir. So are you there? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. You are double now. Okay, now please listen to me carefully. Already some cross talk yes. has started somewhere. Okay. Now, how many marks was given by the teacher for one page answer? Zero. Why zero? So because the student has misunderstood uh, uh, adsorption. Uh, by writing down adsorption because in the question paper it was written adsorption instead of and absorption it is a spelling mistake and he wrote in the answer book uh, that uh, i am writing below the answer for absorption give me marks also that sentence he has written yes understood sir. or not yes sir. 
teacher I spoke to the teacher I spoke to the student student said you have to do sir every day two exams have to write one in the morning one in the evening and uh, internal exams are always two per day and uh, I was reading up to night two o'clock three o'clock so I got confused I thought there is only absorption and I forgot about absorption like that he told me I gave the same feedback to the teacher and the teacher said uh, I taught in a conventional way next semester I will teach in a innovative way am I right madam yes sir and then when I met uh, that same teacher after one year she I asked uh, did you do it in an innovative way yes did anybody write such wrong answers no why because the, my method was good I asked what method have you used shall I tell you the method used by that uh, madam yes sure sir yeah, please listen carefully. Just uh, before the class, uh, sh she ordered for, of course, she did not pay money from her salary. It was paid by the college owner. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. She has not paid money from her salary. She has uh, been provided the budget for buying certain items which can be used for teaching the subject. Are you understanding my English? Yes, sir. Uh, so, I asked her, she said, sir, earlier absorption was there, adsorption was there, now absorption is also included in the syllabus by the university. Okay, sir. Are you understanding the third process? Yes, sir. Absorption, S-O-R-P-T-I-O-N. Other one is yes, A-D-S-O-R-P. Other one is A-B-S-O-R-P. Are you understanding all of you? Yes, sir. Uh, then she ordered for three idlis. You know what is idli? Now don't ask me to explain what do you mean by idli. No sir, I know that. I, and it's my favorite. She, uh, one of the she, favorite she, cuisine. She got it from the canteen. Okay? Some okay, uh, helper was there. Some helper was there in the department to bring all this. Money was paid by the owner of the college, not by the teacher's salary account. Okay? Okay sir. She brought one big bowl of sambar, one big bowl of chutney, and one big bowl of spicy powder. Okay? Okay, sir. And she took all these items with the help of non-teaching staff uh, to the classroom, and students were surprised that a lot of idli, sambar, and all is coming. So one student jokingly asked, Madam, you are going to serve idli, sambar to us? She said, Yes, yes, I will serve. And uh, okay. then uh, she did not uh, she did not tell anything about the topic. She said, uh, students, let's do something and then see what all that means to us. So she called one student and said, uh, can you keep the three plates uh, on the table? Yes. Can you take one idli and put it into one plate, another idli, another plate, another idli, another plate? Yes, madam. Can you pour sambar into the one plate? Yes, madam. Can you pour chutney into another one? Yes, madam. Can you pour spicy powder into the other one? Yes, madam. You understood what I am talking? Yes, sir. Actually, she is going to conduct a, a very good activity to prove the absorption first. Yes. Then and she will, I think, differentiate between adsorption and absorption. She called another student and told, can you please... Uh, 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 take out the idli which is there inside the sambar with the help of uh, fork and uh, knife and all that she helped uh, keep it on the table yes cut it into two pieces yes and take one piece and show it to the students and uh, students were asked is the sambar only outside the idli or is it gone inside so obviously the answer is sambar has gone inside the idli inside no? the idli yes mm -hmm. Now, another student came and lifted the uh, idli which is there in chutney and cut it into two pieces and showed one piece to all the students and uh, they were asked a question, is the chutney there as much as sambar there? No, mm -hmm. very little has gone inside. Mm -hmm. Later now. Yes, sir. The third student came and lifted that idli which was there in spicy powder because in uh, Tamil Nadu and Andhra, Karnataka, South India, they eat idli along with spicy powder, especially when they are traveling in a train or a bus. Because they can't carry sambar and chutney. Chutney will get spoiled. Sambar will fall on their sari and shirt. I hope you all understand what I am talking. Yes, sir. So that is another way of eating idli with a spicy powder. So that uh, was cut into two pieces and... Uh, 
teacher asked, is the spicy powder has gone inside? Uh, one student said, it is not there outside only, how can it go inside? Powder will not stick to that, right? Yes. And then madam said, see, you saw three processes here. One is called absorption, another one absorption. is called absorption. Called absorption. Is called absorption. Yes. And then she, put the <laughs> then she put the definition of all these three as per the textbook on the PowerPoint presentation. But students are already understood the process. Now they are able to understand and remember this, what is the difference between all these three. And then she uh, put a slide on uh, advantages, disadvantages, applications, limitations, all that uh, as per the syllabus. But the students are now paying 100% attention. They got curiosity in the subject. Now they got clarity. They can remember for a longer duration. Do you agree or no? Nobody. Absolutely agree, sir. Uh, it's like wonderful but, activity. But, Excellent. So how many of us are doing all this? One teacher, when I said, why don't you do? No, sir, my salary is not sufficient for my own family. Aray, yes, you don't have to spend money from your pocket. It will be spent by the owner of the college. That we are going to tell them, don't worry. Are you understanding, all of you? Nobody. Yes, sir, talking. we can put the requisition, uh, like we need, we are going yes. to conduct some activities. So yes. it will be provided, surely. Yes. These have been trained by us. We will train them if necessary. You take my phone number and email ID and uh, sir, please I, uh, provide. So please provide your email num email and phone number, please, in the uh, chat box if it. Give you my laptop only if you want. Okay. Uh, sorry, sir. I will give you my password for my email account also. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't have any personal uh, emails. I have only official emails in my inbox. I am not going to send an email to my girlfriend. My wife will cut me into four pieces. Then, sir, absorption rate will be high. <laughs> Surface area will increase. So, now, uh, uh, alert or are you feeling sleepy? Not at all, sir. We are active. Ah, so that is how the teacher should take care of the students. Now and then, one or two humorous sentences, but not continuously. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I think I can talk about innovative methodologies for seven days non-stop 24 hours with the live examples of your university syllabus. Okay? Yes, sir. Are you able to hear me or no? Everybody yes, is sir. silent. Yes, sir. Right. So you are audible. Yes. You are audible. Uh, uh, but are you also understanding why I am talking all this, what I am talking, how is it relevant? Because some of you may belong to electronics, some of you may belong to mathematics, some of you may belong to English. But don't you think even English teacher is able to get my points? Lata Madam has to give certificate. But uh, she is not able to talk because of network issue. Okay? Are you able to understand? See, now nobody yes, is Okay. Just sir, when you were showing the example from computer science, even, even we were not from that branch, but we were we were able to, to understand everything. So the content may not be suitable to you, but the methodology will be suitable to you. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Okay, now I think we have another topic to speak that is uh, maybe very important for all of us because you know, for the last one and a half hour, uh, years, we are suffering from COVID and many of us have got into severe stress at home and at office and college and personally, professionally. So what is that? Uh, what is that you are able to see, madam? Uh, stress no, management, I think. Ah, see how, how you guessed, how you guessed. Because uh, so because you were just discussing about stress uh, in COVID and all. <laughs> Talking about this because it is there in your schedule. No, it is there in your schedule. So it's there in the schedule. So now, can you tell me what is the title? Madam, can you tell me what is the title of this? So stress management. Can you see? 
Some background voice is coming out. I don't know if it's from the slide. Uh, so now my first question is, I'm going to talk about all these points. I'm not going to read everything, okay? Now my first question is, what is the, my first question? What is stress? Somebody is uh, listening to some red car, uh, uh, something. Okay, sir, can you please find out who is doing cross talk with the video audio? It's not talking to me. I'm not getting actually background sound is coming. Sir, there is some noise distortion. Somebody is listening to TV. Maybe somebody is listening to Facebook. Am I right or wrong? Maybe. So anyway, so. I stopped. What is the question I have asked you, madam? Uh, what is stress? What is the answer you have given? I haven't given any answer yet, sir. Give me. Giving wrong answer is not crime, but not giving an answer is crime. So stress is sometimes uh, mentally, uh, it's a mental disturbance, which mental interfere with our normal, uh, normal day activities. Correct. So I will give you a definition as given by somebody. Can you just read what is the definition given by Benjamin Franklin? Stress is often termed as 20th century syndrome, born out of man's race towards modern progress and its ensuing complexities. Yes. So what do you mean by syndrome? Syndrome is a, like it's a disease, like a group, like some abnormalities, I can say. Yes, I have given you the dictionary meaning of syndrome. Can you read? A group of symptoms which consistently occur together. Occur yes. together. So now again read for the benefit of all of us uh, the definition of stress according to Benjamin Franklin. Stress is often termed as 20th century syndrome born out of man's race towards modern progress and its ensuing complexities. So, can you tell me in your own words, uh, what is the meaning of all this? Uh, so, nowadays stress? people, they are just uh, racing towards the uh, progress. They are advancing in every ways. And uh, um, the complexities is also increasing day by day. Uh, we are moving far away from the simple lifestyle. Uh, so, that is why this is the 20th century syndrome. Because uh, it's in the... Uh, sentence it is, has been written 20th century syndrome means it was not earlier it was not there but nowadays since the people are more uh, advancing in every area in their lives so they are getting this syndrome stress everybody wants to become a prime minister everybody wants to become a vice chancellor everybody wants to become a president correct or not Yes, sir. everybody, everybody wants has to... their own dreams to achieve ah, dreams we should have but uh, 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 you cannot do high jump and long jump. You have to go in a certain speed, right? That is what racing towards modern progress. Everybody wants to get an Olympic gold medal. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Nobody is telling. Yes, sir. Tell me, madam. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible. Are you able to tell me? Yes, sir. I am there. Hello? Sir, are you there? Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay, but now I want you to see the next slide. Okay, right? Sir. Can you see lot of uh, uh, images are there? The slide is not visible. PPT is not visible. Acha, slide is not visible, so I will share once again. I will share you the slide once again. Visible, include system audio, and now it is visible? Yes, sir, it's visible now. Can you tell me how many lot of images are there? Seven images, sir. Yes, so, uh, what do you uh, understand by looking at these images? So maybe they are suffering from headache or they have some 
headache or some something that they are getting disturbed now that the topic is what stress so now do you agree that all of them are having some stress uh not uh, exactly because uh, all cannot be all cannot be headache gesture. right all cannot yes, be sir. headache right all cannot be stress also sir <laughs> ah but still but uh, headache is also one kind of stress right mm -hmm. you get headache because you are stressed someone true right? yeah so now based on this there is another definition for stress or meaning for stress can you please read that stress can have a big impact on your body in ways that that are felt by just you and in way that world can see <laughs> see the people here they know the pain they are suffering right yes sir but all of us can see that they are having a pain but we are not experiencing the pain they are experiencing the pain do you agree agree sir agree sir and and now can you read this once again because i want basics and concepts to be understood properly stress can have a stress can have a big impact on your body in ways that are felt by just you and in way that world can see world can see that you are having stress but that uh, stress is felt only by you not by the world yes, understood sir. or no yes sir so which means when you are under stress others can notice that you are having a stress but uh, the pain of stress you are, uh, you are alone experiencing am i right yes sir one scientist gave this uh, impact can you read this one of the more visible potential by product of stress is weight gain many people find themselves to be emotional eater who reacts to stress by reaching for some something often the wrong thing to eat <laughs> so now you know <laughs> <laughs> so i'm not food. saying i'm not saying everybody will become i'm not saying everybody will become fat but uh, some people may become thin also <laughs> in the process but uh, this is a research done by somebody that uh, you know they, they they will react to stress by reaching for something often the wrong thing to eat and because of that sir, they put on sir, they put can i weight. interrupt sir yeah 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 uh, even i fall under this so uh, whenever i get stressed i eat more i don't know what not i am going to do not to you even me also because we don't know what to do we don't know what to do yes sir so we go to the and kitchen and especially we... sir during this pandemic my children uh, immediately they say that uh, uh, they can identify sir when i eat more no my children they identify that i am stressed they say uh, uh, be, cool, be cool mom don't uh, be intense uh, you are eating more no this is uh, happening but for some people it could be otherwise also right can you some please read they stop can eating and some they eat ah can you read the next line stress can also create a loss of appetite which can be a problem as well yes this yeah. all can happen yes so some now, they don't eat now i want to ask you a question now sir. for the first time for the first time the child is going to a school for the first time in his life uh, uh, was is going to a school or maybe going from a school to a college will there be a stress in that person first time uh, sometimes it may be and sometimes it may not be so for some yes. students so nervousness maybe will be more i think uh, exactly uh, that, is, that is exactly i want all of you to understand what happens to somebody may not happen to us but uh, both possibilities are there some people enjoy going to school some people yes. enjoy going to the college but some people are worried about going to school or going to the college because uh, so far i have studied in local medium and in the college they are talking only in english i am getting stressed am i right yes sir and uh, now the second one is little uh, tricky question i don't know how many of you can answer that yeah even for the, even this also so some are worried and some feel enthusiastic to get married yes so what about changing jobs 
Uh, this also the same thing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the problems? I think here you will not uh, tell both yes. ways, right? Yes, sir. Here everyone uh, uh, stressed. Yes. So that is why these are some four examples are uh, situations that involve stress, but not necessarily for hundred percent people as we discussed. Am I right? Yes, sir. Can you read what is the statement given here? Stress is a fact of life. Changes take place within one's life and lead to stress. For example, Do you agree with that? sir. Do you agree with this statement? Yes, sir. Can you, if you don't mind, if you uh, you can also give an example which you have uh, undergone, because you said you went through this. If, if it is not confidential, if it is not confidential, you can share with the rest of the group. Otherwise, uh, we will take general examples. Uh, there are certain confidential issues, sir, but uh, general issue I will bring about where uh, all the teachers are facing the same problem. Yes, we'll be yes. having the classes and simultaneously they will ask us to uh, produce certain documents very immediately. I know. Uh, that is a, a big stress where everyone is facing and uh, the other stress what I uh, feel is uh, now this online classes. Yes, yes. Where I think you are also experiencing now, now sir. Experience. There are more than uh, 70 people and only a few are responding and you are worried about <laughs> why <laughs> others are not. The same uh, thing we need to feel so every I day and that is a big stress also. They are having a network problem or audio problem or yeah. video problem. Even uh, our students gave the same reason. Good. So you gave two examples which can lead to stress, right? Yes, sir. And any other that Bihar madam, can you give an example? Ramya madam, can you give an example? Not so this. I don't take stress actually. I remain yeah. happy all the time. <laughs> you are happy all the time, right? Very good, very good. What about Ramya Madam and Patil Madam and others? We will ask uh, Murugesh, uh, Professor Murugesh, what is the stress he has uh, undergone? Murugesh, there is another Madam from uh, MKCE College. Okay, they, they are not uh, uh, able to hear my voice. So, but uh, Madam has given. So, now as uh, Madam told, for some people, uh, going to college is also good, right? For some people, they, they feel stressed because they are not able to understand the communication. First uh, thing is they are talking in English and uh, I have studied in Telugu medium like that. We may feel stressed, but uh, I want uh, you to read this uh, paragraph, Madam. Sometimes situations that cause stress also prove to be beneficial. For example, when a person seeks admission in a college, that contributes towards his personality development, enhancement of knowledge, life and career prospects, and well-being. Sir, was it audible, sir? No, madam, can you read once again for the benefit of all? Because you are too fast. You give uh, some uh, pause for every oh. comma. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sometimes situations that cause stress also prove to be beneficial. For example, when a person seeks admission in a college, that contributes towards his personality development, enhancement of knowledge, life and career prospects, and well-being. Is it okay, sir? Fantastic. So now it is, uh, see, going through stress need not be bad always. Sometimes it will be useful also, beneficial also. Yes, when a person seeks admission in a college, that contributes towards his personality development, enhancement of knowledge, life and career prospects and well-being. Am I right? Yes, sir. Sometimes we need to have the stress. So that otherwise, we cannot do certain things also. So, but uh, for some people, uh, something else happens, which is written in this slide. Can you read that? Yes, sir. On the other hand, pressure of work and studies, traveling to the college, if it's located at a distance, living in a hostel also causes stress with 
within a sir uh, the bottom line is not visible sir ah uh, within an individual an individual so now it is clear no yes, pressure sir. of work and studies traveling to the college if it is located at a distance living in a hostel because the hostel food may not be good it may not be tasty and uh, you know hostel itself is a little boring because mother father brother sister is not there they get into some stress right all the people at home are celebrating festival they are celebrating birthday but i am stuck in the hostel i cannot travel back up and down for the sake of birthday celebration of somebody am i right or wrong right yes sir so that is like whatever we discussed it is unavoidable stress is unavoidable we cannot avoid situations and circumstances take place within the life of an individual that he cannot avoid stress but he can cope up with a stressful situation if he learns effectively how to manage stress so that is how the stress management word has come he can control the detrimental effects of stress such as trauma and hypertension because stress can lead to trauma stress can lead to hypertension stress can lead to so many other problems do you agree with that yes sir so what do you mean by yes, trauma sir. i don't have to tell you a deeply disturbing or disturbing experience or distressing experience suppose uh, some example given in the dictionary is like the death of a child physical injury which will not allow you to go to bathroom also so these are all uh, one kind of uh, but in all kinds of professions whether you are a student of medical army or education individual faces stress but an individual should possess the knowledge within him about how to interpret and react to the circumstances do you agree with that madam yes sir madam i will ask you one english question i i am very poor in english uh, compared to you because you are a professor of english right yes sir ah what is the difference between the two words one word is called react other word is called respond yes sir what is the difference so for any two? for any situation so are you getting my words so yes yes for any situation you told yeah for any situation immediately if we re uh, respond that is called a reaction sir uh, especially aggressive way yes so if you respond if you go react that becomes a reaction if you do it uh, immediately without yes, thinking sir. without analyzing without even uh, you know uh, uh, thinking about it for few seconds also if you don't uh, think about yes, it sir. and you are reacting that will will that be a good thing madam no sir so what is that a human being should do for any situation we need to think for a while for a while it could be few there seconds there is a proverb also no sir think yeah. before you speak yes so think twice before you talk once eh? yes sir ah so that is one uh, proverb other verb is if you have seen tamil film or telugu film or hindi film or malayalam film or any film even there also you can see that somebody will advise the grandfather will advise the hero or the villain or whatever it is are uh, yes, count your fingers 1 to 10 yes yeah, sir that uh, that 10 seconds is sufficient for you to convert reaction into response responding so unfortunately most of us i am not saying all of us we most of the times we react rather than respond do you agree with that not only yes. in the college in the house also if the child has uh, uh, dropped a, a you know bottle and it broke we go and hit the child yes <laughs> <laughs> because we are reacting we are not uh, thinking are yeah when i was a child also so many things broke it's okay once in a while it happens am i right or wrong yes sir yes sir similarly we behave with uh, husband with wife or with uh, relatives or with uh, students with a chodi or with uh, 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 you know vegetable shop owner am i right or wrong nobody is telling yes sir yes sir that's what i'm right. saying 
if you start reacting that can also add towards uh, creation of a stress Do, right yes sir yes sir uh, so stress is the way human being reacts physically and mentally to the changes that occur in their lives in the form of certain events situations incidents experiences do you agree yes sir that is why an english teacher says do not react respond do not react respond actually i got uh, two three videos to show but i am not because i think all of us have understood the difference between react and respond lot of times reaction is uh, uh, gives you negative impact do you agree yes sir especially when we are uh, getting angry on some so now are you able to understand people experience stress in different manners and for different reasons do you agree yes sir people experience stress in different manners and for different reasons the reaction of the person is based upon the perception of an event or a situation so our perception also matters how you take it how is our mindset am i right or wrong right sir nobody is telling me yes sir you are right sir hello sir so you are not audible Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. You are audible now. Okay. Now, did you understand what is the difference between react and respond? Yes, sir. See, if uh, we are viewing the situation in a negative way, we feel stressed and out of control. Do you agree? Yes, sir. On the other hand, if you view situation in a positive manner, then it is called U stress, which is also known as a good stress. There is something known as a good stress, which is also called as a positive stress or U stress. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. So now I am asking you to read the next slide. What is that is written here? For example. For example, some people may find. public speaking or airplane flights are very stressful which causes physical reactions such as increased heart rate and loss of appetite whereas some people may curiously curiously look forward to an event this means for some people there are negative stresses for some these are positive stresses depending upon the perception of an individual do you agree with this of course the medical problems could be there so that they have been advised not to take an airplane am i right yes sir but otherwise some people uh, you know they look forward to a flight journey yes sir and uh, similarly public speaking if you ask somebody to speak in front of 500 people they will uh, get stressed right yes sir most of the but, time yeah most of the times but some people they want larger crowd so that they can impress and uh, have an impact on all the crowd right because they love public speaking it's true sir but for a teacher we should be good in public speaking or no 
so obviously we must be a good public speakers you know you know everybody will have nervousness everybody will have nervousness but how to get rid of nervousness is to uh, manage uh, manage the nervousness i think management is ah, the good thing so that you should learn how to overcome and cope up with that you know once uh, amita bachchan you know amita bachchan yes sir somebody went and interviewed him saying that uh, sir you are one of the greatest actors of hindi yes yes i read in the newspapers <laughs> like that he told right do okay. you have do you have a stage fear do you have a nobody is telling that person was asking to amitabh bachchan yes what is that do okay, you have okay. stage fear stage fear okay. can you tell me the spelling of stage fear the s t a g e f e a r a teacher should have stage fear or should not have stage fear never sir teacher must never, not never. have any stage but, fear uh, but do you also agree that many of us i did not say many of you i say many of us which means including me whenever we face a large uh, crowd as uh, we get stage fear right yes sir very obvious very obvious very obvious so somebody asked amita bachchan how do you get rid of stage fear how do you get rid of stage fear he said the only way to get rid of stage fear is to get on to the stage <laughs> <laughs> don't avoid don't avoid don't avoid because some people will Face tell it. you go you go you go first i will go tomorrow i will go tomorrow like that do you agree yes sir <laughs> ah, if you have 10 friends with you and if uh, you are uh, Uh, director says uh, uh, go and uh, talk to the people on stage then uh, you will tell to uh, neighbor hey you go today tomorrow i will go i am not feeling well today i have throat infection uh, like that right <laughs> yes sir many excuses <laughs> ah that is what i am trying to tell you if you give excuses you cannot taste success if you yes. want success don't give excuses right so yes, don't sir. worry about stage fear let us go wrong also no problem but we should not avoid now i am requesting everybody kindly switch on the audio and speak to me of course they are facing genuine audio video problems am i right or wrong yes sir so that is what i am trying to tell you that is what i am trying trying to tell you it is a perception of an individual there are many sources of stress there are how many sources i will tell you can you just tell me what is the first two lines uh, sources of stress stress can be experienced from our basic resources the environment first, uh, first uh, source of not resources sources oh sources yeah what uh, was, first what is the, the first environment ah. the environment the environment around can in undate an individual with strong extreme severe and competing demands to adjust with examples of environmental stressors include misdemeanors crime pollution traffic unsafe housing or residential areas noise crowding weather and precarious group of people so now you understood this environment also can be a lead to the stress for a human being do you agree yes sir some crime has taken place uh, very near to your house in your uh, residential layout so that also creates you may not get good sleep on that day right yes sir and uh, ndtv always talks about uh, pollution pollution in delhi is very bad 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 so that also creates a stress and you want to travel uh, to your office and uh, it's only 10 kilometers but it takes 2 hours the traffic also can create stress am i right yes sir and uh, you also hear in the tv that apartment complex fell down and uh, so many people lost their life and so many people are injured so that means unsafe residential areas unsafe housing also is going to create stress even though you are building is fine but you will feel that oh my god what will happen to me am i right or not yes sir similarly all these are the environment also can create a stress do you agree or no yes sir uh, what is the second source of uh, stress they are called 
social stressors can i just read and individual experiences myriad stressors arising from demand of social roles that he occupies such as parent spouse caregiver and an employee some of examples of social stressors includes job interviews assignments presentations deadlines financial problems divorce or separation breakup or loss of loved one incongruity co-parenting require requirements for one time and attention and workload so now do you agree so that the many... things, uh, job interview right financial problems all these things can also create stress right yes sir they are called social stresses because that is nothing to do with environment right yes so what the next kind of uh, source of uh, stress so psychological physiological oh sorry so it's uh, actually i have not enlarged it like okay just just a minute sir uh, physiological yeah so shall i read yeah yeah situations and circumstances affecting one's body physically as well as mentally can be described as physiological stresses example of these kind of stresses include rapid growth of adolescence menopause obesity insomnia loss of appetite or eating disorders lack of exercise and physical activities poor diet and nutrition health problems that arise due to aging illness giving birth and accidents all these also can create uh, stress right yes sir uh, this may not come under environmental source or uh, you know the other one which social uh, uh, source right this is physiological because of your uh, uh, body and uh, biology zoology botany and uh, <laughs> uh, chemistry of the body right there is a fourth source of uh, stress what is that madam is uh, tired am i right madam are you tired what happened to madam uh, just a second sir it was not visible to me the slide is no, not visible no. to me now i can make it full uh, screen yes sir it's uh, visible visible sir problem uh, yeah so thoughts thoughts yes. individuals experience may situations in life that are stress provoking but it is the thought of an individual that determine how he perceive it it is the brain that perceives the situation as stressful difficult painful or pleasant the way the individual formulates his thoughts and per perceptions regarding the situation that way he determines whether they are negative or positive so now you are able to distinguish all kinds of uh, stressors right sources of stressors am i right or wrong yes sir ah so there is positive stress there is negative stress and you know all these are there but uh, it is all uh, we have to take care but uh, uh, the public can understand uh, because of the signs of stress uh, am i right yes sir so physical signs mental signs behavioral signs job stress strains it could be uh, migraine headache back problem family conflict extreme anger and frustration depression absenteeism loss of mental concentration all these can create right insomnia means sleep disorder am i right or not yes sir now there are some causes why the stress is uh, happening to all of us what are some of the causes as per research job insecurity high performance demand bad boss workplace 